Hey, Marty, you know what? The weather is getting great. <laughs> it's getting great. It's getting great. It is great. And this weekend, with temperatures in the 80s, maybe you're looking outside going, I had a lot of work to do out here. <laughs> well, making the most of outdoor living space is what our segment is all about. Joining us now, Dick Gilmore with Cambridge Paving. Uh, and he is paving stones, I should say. And he's with us to talk all about ways to, to spruce up the outdoors. A lot of people are looking, like I said, looking outside going, wow, has it been a long winter or what, right? Yeah. After this winter, everybody wants to do something. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, how has business been? You're already starting to see people putting in orders for uh, sprucing up their backyards or, or the, even the front yards, right? We're actually seeing a lot of uh, movement right now with everybody buying our paving stones with Armatech, and that's what people want. They want the uh, Cambridge with Armatech. It's the way we make it. So it's a particular kind of paver, right? It, yes, armor, stone. yes, that's correct. Our, our pavers uh, last for years and years because of the armor tech, and that's what's important to the homeowner. They love having it never change. Right, so it's a product that kind of preserves the look of the product. That's correct. For, and, I mean, and, and let's face it, we've got very brutal winters here, uh, as we had this year, very cold temperatures down into, you know, wind chills into the negative 20-some zone. Um, but you're saying these, this product can withstand that? This is a proof in the pudding right here with this year with all the snow that we had and all the frost that was in the ground. The contractors are a, a, a big testament to that as well. The good contractors really do a great job. What's the, what are some of the trends when it comes to, you know, living outdoors? And, you know, back in my day and in our day, I can even say, because think about it. When we were kids, what did you, you your dad had a grill outside, you had a picnic table and that was about it. That was your outdoor living. Maybe you had a kiddie pool. If you were lucky, you had a real pool. Uh, mm -hmm. What is the trend in outdoor living and enjoying outdoor space this year? Well, the trend really today is having your outdoor living center. It's your living room outside. And that's basically what you have. You have grill kits. You have fireplaces. You have fire pits, gas or wood. You have uh, different levels of uh, patios in the back. Mm -hmm. The nice thing about our product, you can do it in stages. So you can do so much in a year and then build on it every year. Do people have entire backyards that are filled with stone and don't even have any grass? There are some. <laughs> I've seen them. <laughs> they never have to worry about mowing or anything. Um, but you, the product can also be used as a, as a driveway, right? Or as a, as, as a driveway? Or can you do that? Or Yes, you can. You can We're actually... so used to our asphalt here. We love our asphalt driveways, yeah. right? Well, I can tell you now, you can do it in the driveway and you can put radiant heat under it and never plow it. What? Yep. That's really? Yep. And it stays warm, so you never, it, it melts the snow? It turns on, there's a sensor that tells <laughs> it to turn on, and, and it, you can come out 2 o'clock in the morning with a two-foot snowstorm. It'll be bare. Okay, so in terms of this product, uh, you know, where do you see yourself price-wise? There may be people who are going to be a little more budget-conscious watching this interview saying, well, you know, how does this compare to, say, um, a stone, a, a stone from, you know, uh, uh, anyone else? But, like, is this actual natural stone, or is it a... It's man-made. It's, it's man -made. manufactured. Okay, so mm -hmm. how does it compare to, say, the real thing? The real thing will be probably less money uh, be from us. Mm -hmm. And then, basically, all the manufacturers that make our products basically will be very close to us uh, but we are usually a little bit below everybody okay so you're competitive is what you're saying that's what I'm saying okay so again doing it in stages you don't have to do it all at once people do what do they come to you what's the most common request for a backyard install uh, for the first timers what, what do they mostly come to you and say they need well they either want a grill kit which we make and a kit itself they can do it themselves so okay. they can build it or they can have their landscaper do it but we also, what they want to have is a living area that they can have chairs around, a fire pit or a fireplace or something like that with uh, sitting walls around it. And that's, the, that's the, what basically people would like to start with. And you start, and these are natural gas grills, right? They can, yes. Or can they be propane or are they mostly... They're natural or pro okay. propane. You just have to let us know when you buy it. Sure. And the other part of it is it's 75,000 BTU, 20-year warranty grill. Yeah. So you can cook outdoors all year if you want. That would yep. be nice. Hey, thank you so much, Dick. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Great to meet you and have you, I should say, in studio again. You were here last year with us. That's correct. That's right. All right, coming up next, not too late to shop for Mother's Day. Maybe mom isn't into outdoor patios, but you know what? Maybe something... Uh, a little more, well, maybe a little more personal. How about this? A Mother's Day shopping guide at Craft Company Number 6 with Hannah Welker on University Avenue. We'll be right back.